right, we're going to get started with our post-race media availability here at Worldwide Technology Raceway. Uh, we have the winner of today's Toyota 200, Corey Heim, the driver of the number 11 uh, Safe Life Tricon Garage Toyota. Uh, we will go straight to questions for Corey. If you have a question, please raise your hand, and we will get a wireless microphone to you. We'll start right up here, and then go to Bob. Corey, it's Yard Barker. Um, I this morning and you're driving for Denny, driving for 2311 at Nashville. He spoke very highly of you, very highly of your maturity behind the wheel and, and off the racetrack as well. Um, you just add to that with another victory today. What does it mean to have a vote of confidence like that from a, from a great driver, from a future Hall of Famer and from a man who's going to be your boss here in a few weeks? Yeah, I mean, I think a, a lot of people know that Denny, you know, growing up was, was my idol. So to uh, to have him by my side and as a, as a supporter uh, and a team owner for a week here in a couple of weeks is, is super cool. Um, means so much, means the world to me just growing up and idolizing him, never knowing if I would ever make it to this level. But, you know, here I am and I've got him as like one of my best supporters right now. So it's, uh, it's super surreal to, to even say that. But I'm um, just very grateful for 2311 Twitter Racing Mobile One for the opportunity here in a couple of weeks. And uh, also very thankful for Tricon Garage and uh, Safe Flight for the opportunity today. Um, Toyota 200 got that win again. So uh, that was another one from two years ago. I uh, was able to technically go back to back, miss the race last year, so I can say that. But uh, you know, just a, just a good day today for sure. Go over here to Bob to the right. Uh, Bob Pockers, Fox Sports. How big is it to kind of have a solid last pit stop this week after last week? And did last week prove, provide any motivation for this week, or you feel like you got you're trying to make up for the points that you lost? To an extent, yeah. I mean, uh, to answer your first question, I mean, it feels great. Uh, those guys, um, those are a great group of guys. Our pit crew does a great job. We have basically the exact same crews we had last year, and I feel like they were the best consistently on pit road. And, you know, admittedly, they've, they've had their struggles this year. Uh, I feel like there's been a couple races where they haven't been on, but when those guys are on, they're really good. So, um, and they were on today. They, they got us the lead, and that proved to be the most important factor is being out front with track position and whatnot. So, um, you know, I was able to go to uh, Joe Gibbs where we lease our pickers, pickers from and, and talk to those guys about, you know, what happened at Charlotte and try to get them better. So um, did some pit practice with them, and I feel like that made a big difference. So um, great group of guys. When they're on, they're on, and today they were. So uh, definitely definitely a good, good day for them. We're going to go to Lee. Yep. All right, we'll go ahead there. Harry Loomis, the podium finish. Corey, this wraps up um, five races, uh, five straight weeks. Um, it's the biggest, longest stretch of the season um, for you guys. What did you learn about yourself and uh, your team throughout this stretch? I feel like I learned that we're, we're the team to beat right now. I feel like these last five weeks, we, we really should have won them all. Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, it's definitely um, – tough to uh, wrap my head around the two that we didn't because I feel like those were actually our two best races and today we I feel like we were really good top three truck but the 98 was really good and we were able to make a team effort out of it had a good pit stop and, and kept the lead so um, just says so much about our track on garage team and we've done such a good job these last five weeks of uh, getting trucks prepared and even with the with the wreck at Darlington they were still ahead of their game and and got our trucks prepared ahead of time so um, really big statement these last five weeks I feel like um, you know this break is going to do them well to get them some rest and carry through the playoffs. Go to Lee. Lee Spencer, Series X and NASCAR Radio and CatchFence.com. What were you feeling when you said, pit me now? Because there really seemed to be just excitement in your voice. And, and Sippy said that he had planned on pitting you that he just didn't want to tell you. But what was what was going on with the truck? <sighs> Inexplainable lap cars being side by side. That's all I got to say. That really was frustrating. I mean, we were getting ready to lap the guys, and they just decided to race side by side, side dodging each other down the straightaways. I was beating the steering wheel in there, trying to get past them. So <laughs> that was extremely frustrating. I don't understand it at all. Um, but I told them to pit me because if we could have just cycled and get away from those guys and get clean air again, we would have been fine. So that was a bit ridiculous, and that's why I was so frustrated on the radio. But um, ended up working out for us, so all good there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hey, Corey, Justin Bradley, Fox 19, Cincinnati. Uh, I just wanted to touch on your point with 98 being strong today, and then Christian Eckes gets out of the truck and says he felt like he should have won the race. Do you consider this kind of a statement win since this is now your fourth win of the year? Yeah, I'd say so. I think, um, you know, the last four weeks we've really been the best truck undoubtedly, and we've had some issues that – um, have led us away from those wins, and it's been something kind of different every week, whether we've wrecked or had issues on pit road or whatever it may be. So today, you know, we, we came and we probably didn't have the best truck, you know, 
by far by any means. I think we were top, definitely top three. But uh, to have our pickers step up like that and, and fix their mistakes from the past couple of weeks is a big statement for those guys. Uh, that's you know been been a struggle in the past couple of weeks, but those guys um, did a great job preparing for this race and they kicked ass today. So uh, really good to see it from those guys and looking forward to carrying it through to the playoffs.